Hey there. So today I have a Dollar Tree gold item and also my foundation for September. So if you'd like to hear more about the Revlon Thick Stick Foundation Stick, see it applied, wear test, all that jazz, then please keep on watching. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, I got this a little bit ago at Dollar Tree. Um, I've seen them still there. And I actually picked up three shades. I have a darker shade that I couldn't find that I've actually used for like contour. And so this is a little foundation stick. This one's unopened, obviously. Um, but you get 0.16 ounces. So not a ton of product, but it is a thick stick. I like the name. So it's just a little thing of foundation. So this is in the shade 11 um, Creme Brulee. Um, I have number 12, which is the Macaroon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this up. But this thick stick is a foundation concealer or in a darker shade of contour. Um, but it doesn't firm your skin. That's weird. Scribble it on directly and blend with finger, sponge, or brush. That's weird. But it doesn't firm your skin. Um, okay. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to apply it. This is not a first impressions because I have used this before, obviously. Um, but I want to show you kind of what this looks like. Okay, so this is the Macaroon shade. And we'll just go ahead and apply some of that. It is a thicker foundation. It kind of reminds me of the old school grease paints. Um, so, and then this is in Creme Brulee. So pretty close in shade. This one is a little lighter, so I'm going to go in with this one doesn't have a scent or anything like that. Um, I've washed and moisturized my skin, but let's go and apply this on. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to be using a flat top brush and um, I'm not going to be using concealer today. So we've got quite a bit to cover up. I have a big zit, some bad under eye circles. Let's go ahead and do it on this side of our face first and then I'll go ahead and Okay, I don't want to go in with too much because this stuff is thick. Sorry, you probably can hear the rain. Okay, so as you can see, it has really, really good coverage. Did a good job concealing the under eyes. And it does blend out really, really nicely. It does feel a little heavy on the skin, but it's not bad. I think if you have dry skin, you would absolutely love this. Um, but as you can see, looks nice. Um, settled a little bit into my pores. I definitely would want to use a pore filling foundation, or. I'd want to use a pore filling primer next time, but looks nice. Looks very skin like once you get it blended in. Let me go ahead and do a little bit on this side. Okay, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, still doesn't dry down, so um, unless you have. Like I said, very dry skin. I would definitely recommend a powder. I mean, you can see my forehead definitely has a lot of moisture in it. So I am going to go ahead and set it. And I'm just using the Essence My Skin Perfector. This is a good powder. And I kind of know how it acts. But. Okay, so we are set. Um, definitely still feels a little, like a little something something. It's didn't, um, I don't feel dry. And as you can see, I still have some natural looking shine. So, looks nice though. Here we are up close. Once again, definitely can see my pores are standing out a little bit. 
Um, but once again, I think if you used a pore filling primer, this would totally be fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little bit more makeup. I'll see you here in a little bit for my first check-in. We are going out, it's high humidity. I'm a combo slash oily person, so we're gonna go ahead and see how the um, thick sticks hold up. So I'll see you here in a sec. Hello, okay, we're back. Um, it's been about two hours since I put on the Revlon, um, yeah, the Revlon Thick Stick Foundation. I do have to say, I do think it looks better as it sat on my skin. Once again, it's only been a few hours, so it could definitely change. I haven't gone outside or anything like that, but I still think it looks really nice. Um, the blush and highlighter that I put on went beautifully on top. Um, no removing any kind of product or anything like that, so that's always good, but I'm thinking it looks really, really nice. So I'll see you here in a little bit. Um, we'll be out and about for another check-in, but so far it's looking good. So I'll see you here in a sec. Okay, so we just got home, um, still in the car, but this is what my foundation is looking like after about six hours. It is extremely humid outside, a little bit warm, but mostly humid because we've been getting a ton of rain. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the way the foundation is holding up. Um, still feel dry from powdering. I look kind of oily and pretty uh, dewy, but foundation is holding up nicely. So I'm impressed with the thick stick out in humid weather, but yeah, I think it looks nice. Hello. Okay, so I've had the uh, Revlon Thick Stick Foundation on for probably about eight and a half, almost nine hours. And this is what we're looking like. Um, I have been cleaning. I have my little cat apron on because uh, I was cooking hamburger like for freezing. But anyway, so um, I do have to say I am feeling a little greasy, but not a ton of transfer, which is kind of surprising. Um, I did set it well, as you saw, but I think these are really, really nice. I think if you can find these at Dollar Tree, I would definitely rec recommend them. It doesn't seem like you get a ton of product, but you don't need a ton of product on the face. Um, and for being an oilier gal, I mean, I definitely think it's looking pretty decent. Um, definitely gave me medium coverage, me heavy medium coverage for as much product as I used. I like this stuff. Um, if you like stick foundation, maybe if you want to try getting a stick foundation, um, it says flush on it, but it is the Revlon Thick Stick. Um, yeah, foundation. I like this. I definitely recommend it. I definitely think it's a Dollar Tree Gold, and if you're in the need of a new foundation and you're sh tight on money, short on cash, all that, if they have this in your shade, I would definitely recommend picking it up. You can definitely put it on very lightly, just put a few swipes on the face, blend it out with a brush. I'm sure it could blend out with a sponge, but with stick foundations, I like brushes. Um, if you want heavier coverage, go in with that. Did great underneath the eyes for concealer. I would still probably use concealer instead of this, um, but it looks nice on, you know, combo, more mature skin. I'm 37. Um, I have wrinkles. I'm a smoker. You know what I mean? So my skin isn't like baby smooth or anything like that. So I do like it. I think it's a Dollar Tree Gold and yeah, I like this foundation. Just be aware of how much you put on. Make sure you blend it out well. And if you do have oilier skin, definitely recommend setting it, but I like it. But anyway, there we go. Um, I hope that you did enjoy, uh, this month's foundation review and this week's Dollar Tree Gold because it's definitely Dollar Tree Gold. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, subscribe to my channel because I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty. Um, leave a comment down below. Have you seen these at your local Dollar Tree? Have you picked them up? What did you think of it? Let me know down below. I'll go in and try to find this on Amazon. I don't know if it's still available, but I'll go in and try to find it if I can find it and if it's a decent price, a decent price when I'm doing this video. I'll go in and link it down below with an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it. You definitely don't have to, but it's there if you want to. And of course, you're welcome to follow me on my social media. I have Facebook and Instagram and it is at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start auto playing here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.